Welcome to Sodo Creations where we make your imagination a reality. For this tutorial, you're only going to need 5 inch balloons. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's jump right in. I'm already inflating my 5 inch balloons. If you have trouble sizing the balloons where they're somewhat equal, make sure you use a balloon sizer for this. Again, we're only using our 5 inch balloons and tying pairs together. Now I have the 260Q that I'm going to use to connect my rope together. I'm deflating the 260Q from the closed end, just compressing till it's nice and flat and then I'm going to tie a knot at the end so it doesn't re-inflate. This works well when you don't have great balloons. I think I showed you that in my other non-organic rope balloon tutorial. But I'm doing several of these because I know I'll need quite a few to get everything assembled. So now, once you have it all assembled, I'm tying two together just to get me started. You don't have to do this. Sometimes it's easier to just use one at a time. You're tying one end to your neck of your five inch balloon that's how you get started next you're just going to crisscross not particularly like a crossover but what you're doing with this organic balloon is you're just creating a filler like you're filling in all the gaps from where your previous balloon left a gap so you make sure you're pulling that 260q through to the middle and making it nice and taut so you're overlapping looking from the top making sure there are no gaps and I'll show you here how it looks from the top especially with the other color we're going to use so you can see where I'm twisting another thing is see how I switch it around because I notice there's a bigger gap when it's laid on the other side it fills it better so that's what you want to do is just find where your balloon will fit in nice and snug and that's where you leave it and you're wrapping your 260Q to the previous balloon. You don't have to over twist, you just need to go around back to the front of your balloon. So you keep repeating this process, I'm getting my hair caught in it, but you keep repeating this process till your design is the length that you want and then you're going to tie the end of it. So I'm showing you kind of a sped up method here because at this point I think you've pretty much gotten the method and that is what it looks like. You can also rearrange it if you need to. These are work pretty well. Another thing is you can use fishing line to do that. So here I just attach it to one of the necks at the end to finish the full design. Let's try this with another color so you can see. Probably to me this looks easier to see without not the white so I'm repeating the same thing and you can see how I just overlap it with the previous while making sure that I'm still staying nice and firm on that 260Q so see how that space is right there it's kind of moving that space right there on the left side I just put that balloon so that it fits nice and snug on it and you see that gap there Repeat the same thing over and over until you have your full design and the length that you want. This color stands out so much. I'm not the biggest fan of pink, but I love this color for decorating because it really stands out. I actually wanted to make this design for my last tutorial with the bridal show. Here I'm just attaching another 260Q because on this one I started with just one. So you just tie one once you notice that your length of 260Q is getting short. You just tie another one to the end and keep going till you have the design. I ended up not using it for what I wanted it for but I decided that I could just show you guys how this is done so you know another method on this channel. Now you just grab your neck of your balloon wrap it around and tie it to the 260q so that it's nice and secure make sure you double knot it thank you so much for watching 
Don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a blessed day.